beautiful animals cared for at UT's College of Veterinary Medicine, marching in for a night of attention and pampering. Tennessee has the ninth largest horse and pony population in the U.S., and that includes lots of human horse owners, too. UT Extension's equine and veterinary specialist recently held horse management field day statewide. Jenny Ivey with the UT Institute of Agriculture's Animal Science Department says horse ownership tends to fall into two categories, recreational and business. And so uh, we're really hoping to be able to continue to let people know that Extension has an equine component and we're here to help them uh, be able to answer whether it's nutrition, management, health questions. Field day visitors got to put their hands on horses, learning health tips and even listening with a stethoscope. They also practice bandaging and leg wrapping, a critical skill to have, especially if you're in a rural area and a veterinarian can't get to you immediately. Um, so today's topics specifically are going to cover first aid, um, including how to take temperature, pulse, and respiration on your horse, what those normal parameters look like, um, and things that you should look for if your horse is in an emergency. Um, we're also going to go through disaster preparedness. A few facts about horses. They have the largest eyes of any land mammal. They're not really colorblind, though they do see certain colors better than others. And they have roughly the same number of bones as a human. Other areas covered, nutrition. Gone are the days of just turning horses loose to eat whatever's growing in a field. Now through best management practices, improved forages and feeds are available for horses and other equids. Gloria Drake has attended these field days before and says the skills she gained helped her not long ago when she had a sick horse. Luckily, I was able to um, identify those signs early. So I was able to call my vet and say, here, here are the vital signs, which I learned from this class, but here are the vital signs. Here's what his temperature is. Here's what his heart rate is. So it, everything checked out normally, but I also knew that he was acting uncomfortably. Drake and other owners here love their horses and take pride in giving them a quality life. The better we can understand our horses, the healthier they'll be. This is Charles Denny reporting.